In the raw. In the raw. RK is going to free media. And I'm your friend, your brother, Haji Dr. Ocean Can. In the raw. Today is the Saturday. And I have with me the papers of Kaicho News and of Guyana Times. Saturday, the 20th of April. 2024, and both newspapers, I'm referring it to you, um, it is also on their website, an important letter to GRE that I had given them, an open letter to the GRE commissioner with all due respects and advisories. Now, I want to read you that letter, but let me show you some of the beauty of Guyana's Saturday morning. We had some rains yesterday, night before. We are badly in need of rains, but we need more rain, but enjoy our breeze and our sunshine in beautiful, tropical Guyana a little bit. Look at the leaves shimmering, bouncing. Look at the leaves of the palm and the coconut, the banana. Uh, just dancing away and romancing with the fertilizing wind. Now I want to read uh, from, I decided to use Guyana Kaicho News and to read this letter, which I refer to you all to get a hard copy from the newspaper. But it is also in their website, and we'll be, it is also in our Facebook, RK, RK's Group Guyana and Russian Can. An open letter to the GRE and the Commissioner General on three-wheeled motorcycles. So it goes, Dear Editor, I wish to record that I believe the GRE is doing an exceptional service to the nation in ensuring VAT income taxes and all taxes are properly remitted. These taxes are imperative for the development of our country and service to our people. I recognize the magnitude and importance of the Guyana Revenue Authority, which is well administered by the Commissioner General, Mr. Godfrey Statia and the team of deputy and assistant commissioners, assistant commissioners, officials, and staff. It is, an it is an immense and massive institution which calls for extraordinary administrative and management skills. I'm writing this letter particularly in reference to a small business we manage called RK's EcoStar Motors, mostly we don't do this business for profitability. Mostly, it's to help the Guyanese people to break in a new form of business and transport for themselves. Let me go on back. Which we started over a decade ago. In order to start it, we had the intervention of former President Bharat Jagdeo, Prime Minister Samuel Hines, and Police Commissioner Fraser. This was a pioneering vehicle and business in the country. The then GRE commissioner, Mr. Kush Sattar, was guided accordingly, and a system was established for registration, which from then to now was excellently managed. A lot of them, and even some members of the Guyana police and members of the traffic department, don't know that three-wheelers motorcycle for cargo, a passenger, and passenger cargo is within the law that we inherited from the United Kingdom. And I move on. As far as we know, there, there has never been any accident, major accidents, loss of lives by drivers, workers, or the public. It is a most practical vehicle, made for harsh economies, poor people, bad roads, good roads, hills, dams, etc. They are very famous. In crowded countries like Vietnam, Thailand, India, Pakistan, Central America, Ghana, Nigeria, they are, they are also famous in Holland, Spain, and Italy. These strikes, sir, are made to empower the small men and women and give them an opportunity to live their lives fruitfully. 
According to the laws that we inherited from the British, they are motorcycles. They are three-wheeled motorcycles. For cargo, and there are for three-wheeled passenger cargo. And also, it's not mentioned here, but three-wheeled for strictly cargo. But by fulfilling the space of 13 or 18 inches per passenger, you can put much more seats. That is all it is needed. These kinds of designations have a tendency at times to confuse the minds of Guyanese who might not have had much experience. I'm talking about certain elements in the Guyana police force. And I'm not talking about a commissioner. I'm not talking about a traffic chief. I'm talking about certain other members who sometimes have an opinion or a view, and they're very wrong. And they may not have the capacity to understand or comprehend that they are wrong. And they will try to bully you for some reason or, or another in some egotistical manner. I don't want to call the name of this police sergeant in traffic. It, it mentioned in here, I mean, typo from my typist, uh, police headquarters, it's really the traffic department. But I don't want to call his, his name at this juncture. But if the problem continues in the future, I will not only share his name, I will also share his face. But I know most of the members of the traffic department, uh, especially traffic headquarters, are most professional on understanding. But this young man seem to have a personal issue of having understanding. Furthermore, I must mention, people who become inspectors, people who become assistant superintendents, superintendents, as senior superintendents, have to be people of a higher order. One cannot have, they know right away, who have a lower mentality, who cannot hope to raise to these glorious standards, because they are not showing that kind of growth, that kind of maturity, that kind of elegance. Because they have a lower level mentality, they think that the, um, what they think is best. And apparently this guy was giving my manager, I'm going to read it's in here, a bit later, a difficult time, even embarrassing the man. But he better don't try it again or else I will expose him to the public. Now, back to the article. In, in Guyana, things have been going very well with registration and processing. <laughs> what? 10, 11, almost 12 years. Suddenly, somebody came up with the idea, and they do these things in certain places, departments, and so on, to show, to my opinion, not only Guyana, overseas as well, and even in some embassies and so on, that the officer is relevant. They want to change this. They want to change that. They want to prove to the bosses that they have some skills to do this and change that without even calling in the stakeholders to have a discussion, to have a view, an opinion, and so we can be aware. Because we were taken by surprise when they were only registering their trike for, and you'll see the photographs in between of this, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to pause here for a minute. I pause there to show you the 11-seater. Could be 13 seater as well. It could be 15 seater. The, the police really has no concern with that if GR is asking just to measure the seats. And you know what? The brilliant, outstanding traffic chief, Mr. Mahinder, knew it and tried to correct, and yet still the guy is a diamond. Um, so I salute the traffic chief for his outstanding brilliance and cooperation. So these are some of the photographs. This is a new model that we received that could go as 3 and 3, 6 and 3, 9, or 4 and 4, 8 and 3, 9, and then you can have the driver and one at the side of the driver, on top of the toolbox, which could be a 12 or 13 seater. 
Now, some people can understand that these things are made to carry a worker or some workers or even for leisure at times, carry your family and so on out. Made basically for poor people, poor countries to enhance their lifestyle. They, I was so impressed with Mr. Mahendra, the traffic chief, when he was trying and he realized what's happening and he tried to explain to some of his staff who were stuck. That sergeant and maybe two other officers as well. I'm hoping that we will overcome all of this very soon and maybe revert back to the, the, the Commissioner General of the GR will trust his staff. They were doing well. They were doing excellent. No problem whatsoever. Somebody came up with the idea that the police measure it. I give the police extra work and so on. I'm coming to all of that. In Guyana, things have been going very well with registration and processing. When we have three seats, it will be three seats plus the driver. Total of four seats. Which would be stated on the registration document. We have had some cases for the procedure tribe where we had seven seats. In some cases, we had nine seats. According to the seating capacity, which could be constructed at 18 inches per passenger, or it could be 13, I really can't remember. While some came from the makers with 7 to 12 seating capacity. GRA staffers were doing an exceptional job with, ex with inspections and registration according to the seating capacity. They didn't make mistakes at times. Instead, the three wheelers were being documented as two wheel vehicles and we took that at human error and had that fixed. Suddenly we noticed, without advice, that they were being re registered as one seater. Imagine a motorcycle with a spinion rider is, re is registered for a two seater and a three wheeler with three seats in the back is being registered as a one seater by someone's directed of the GRE. I wonder if the Commissioner General is aware of this. Or some officer in there just made the decision for some reason. Let me, let me go on. You'll have some good knowledge here. A cargo three-wheeler with built-in with, with built capacity for the driver plus three passengers registered as one-seater. I am basically, I'm trying to say this is ridiculous, which, which was for the driver only. So these people, this is like mini trucks. How will the people carry their workers? I'm coming to that. The three-wheelers three -wheel, three came with built-in seats for three persons. But some come, came with seating for more persons. And additional seats could be installed as per law. Even though they came for more, you could install it. All the police is concerned about is the measurement to ensure that the people can sit. They're not concerned with anything else. Because the people who make these things know how they make them. Because due to lack of exposure for some of them, they do not have the capacity to understand this, and that's why I think some can never become sergeants, inspectors, uh, assistant uh, superintendents, uh, superintendents, senior superintendents. You have to have a capacity to decipher or to ask what you don't know. Request information. Sit and talk with respect. If you're objecting, don't say, I refuse it. That's what the man was telling the sergeant, was telling my, my, my manager. Oh, no, I don't tell you already. I'm not going to. Like, he was the power. Somehow he felt he was the single power, according to the act so, 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 so of the traffic, which was so petty and ludicrous that it was shameful. They don't know. You're trying to explain to them, and yet they're behaving ludicrous. There were other officers, other sergeants who approached us, who respected us, and I explained to them, and they were shaking their head and going like this. Like they know the personality we were dealing with. If he came to it, I would show his face on Facebook, and I, but I don't want to do that, and I will call his name, and I don't want to do that. And I'm a fearless person, and it's all within the law.
An additional seats could be installed as per law. Our customers have been affected. We have been affected and sales have been affected. This has caused tremendous annoyance and frustration not knowing what to do. My guidance to the GRE and any institution like the Guyana Police Force is that they need to call in the stakeholders. Whenever they're changing a process or a situation, they need to call in the stakeholders and listen to their viewpoints. And I am one of the persons who are fearless because sometimes I go in in meetings and people are just afraid of the commissioner. The commissioner of police and commissioners are generally people who listen. They're of the higher order, like our commissioner Hicken. Man of a higher order, men of intellect, deputy commissioners. You have two powerful deputy commissioners. Three, the crime chief, you have, um, you have the operations. You have administration. So these are men of a higher order, Sergeant. You must look at them and understand they have a different mindset from you, Sergeant. Next time I'll call your name and I'll show your face. But, so this is my advice. If ever the GRE is changing a rule of law, don't just change it and cause catch the people by surprise are people like us, call us in for a meeting. Let us have a chat. Let us discuss the way forward and maybe we will go with you. And we probably could help to advise how to make it faster and how to overcome this bureaucracy. Some institution has tremendous bureaucracy and so does the GRA. Tremendous bureaucracy. Too much, one would tend to think. So, Commissioner General, my suggestion is that when making these decisions, it is good PR guidance to call us in and ask us our viewpoint instead of unilateral decisions being made internally. And in this case, even the police was not informed when the undersigned personally intervened and tried to follow the trail. How is it to understand? The police department were not informed. Just a letter sent. To the, G, to, the, to the traffic department to do so, 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 so. The police department is a powerful department with its own power and that calls for its own respectability. Commissioner to commissioner uh, needs to show and display proper respectability. So I followed the trail and I found out that apparently the police department did not know. I was provided with certain information after much fatigue and inconvenience from the motor vehicle department. They didn't tell us. Then I called and I called because they're busy people. These, uh, the, um, noise, noise. Oh. So I was provided, I had to inquire when I saw one seater, when the customer started to complain. I was inquiring. Um, somebody else was talking to him. remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is in the raw. So things could happen. I could take a glass of water or a sip of water. Somebody could talk to me because it's in the raw. Now when we found out this, nobody told us. Not a letter from the commissioner, commissioner's office or the commissioner or the assistant commissioner or the registration department or registration bureau. Nothing. We just think they just one seater and story finish. This is unfair to people. And lots of complaint and affecting people's life. They can't put a, a son or a daughter or a worker if they're selling vegetable or provision or fish and meat or or fruits or they're selling a pastries and drinks and cake and food. It's not fair. So I'm very from my heart telling you all this is making things difficult and it's taking long. You might think you just go to the police, they measure. A report has to be made. It has to go to the traffic chief. The traffic chief, when he gets time, he will sign it. Then instead of us collecting it, somebody sent it across to GRE and then the papers got lost. As usual, a lots of papers got lost in GRE.
and we ask to do it back all over again and frustrate the customer. I was provided with certain information after much fatigue and inconvenience from the motor vehicle department. The staff there were very respectful and supportive. I know it is not they who make these rules. I told them this, but they said, but you, you just, you, you just come and collect and, we, and now we found out this one seater. It is in my own trike that I have in my compound was registered for a, for a one seater. And even registered as a motorcycle and not a three wheel motorcycle. Some of this will happen. Huh? I'm, not, I'm not upset about that. But turning a vehicle like this, which comes with three plus one, four, and now in some cases it will be five because there's another seat on top of the toolbox for a worker there. The, these guys can't comprehend in the police department, some of them, at least one of them. The rest are, are men. And, 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 and women of high caliber who will become assistant commissioners and commissioners and so on into the future. So the, the, the staff there, the person we are dealing with, the two persons there, they were extremely polite and respectful. I found most of the people at the GRE are always cooperative and helpful. So whatever training you're giving your staff, commissioner general, it is working out. In approaching the police department, they were taken by surprise. They were never officially informed, it would appear, except that we suddenly showed up with a letter from GRE for this. Traffic Chief Senior Superintendent Mahendra Singh met with us. He listened very intently with other officers and dealt with the matter with extreme professionalism and caution. I'm very proud of him. He has the making of senior superintendent, of assistant commissioner, and maybe even commissioner one day, he's a young man, and why not? However, we had no deal, we had to deal with a sergeant, which I mentioned to you a bit earlier, at police headquarters, sorry, commissioner, it was not police headquarters, it was traffic headquarters. The, the staff made a typo here. Whose name I will not disclose at this time. He was uncooperative and extremely rude and unwilling to listen according to my transport manager. He could, he could not seem to understand the instruction of the GRE, which as stated above, was clarified with the traffic chief. And what was that? Seating capacity. He was trying to deal with safety and safety. That was not his purview. Seating capacity, because the thing is already safe. It is not a minibus. It is not a car. So this, all you're concerned about the seating capacity, but he was bringing in more. He probably trying to establish he's a very brilliant guy. And when some people do that, when they have that ego, I've seen it before, they, they mess themselves up. I have a, a case with two, a sergeant, and who should be a corporal by now, a young man. I'll call his name, young Benjamin, at Kitty Police Station. The sergeant there. And Benjamin, most professional. We had an issue where somebody was blocking our driveway. Night and day, he wasn't cooperating. But these two officers were so professional. The sergeant at Kitty and Mr. Benjamin, who rides the motorcycle, was so professional. Handled the matter well. Went and got the guy out. The guy refused to, the corporal. Well, I, he's not a corporal. He's still a private man. That guy should be a, a, a corporal. When I mentioned corporal, he said, man, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not a corporal, uh, but, you know, uh, as a boy, young man, I understand how these things go in the police force. You're bright, you're handsome, you're, you serve well, you're dynamic. Sometimes in places like the police force and the military, some people might, might block you. It unfortunately happens. And um, so I want to compliment those officers. Traffic department has some very beautiful... Some amazing people. Another team came through the sergeant from, from Breakdam with a new vehicle of four or five of them. And they tell the guy, you have to move it or we are going to throw it away. And they got the guy to move the vehicle. But this country has some hard, crude, rude and pompous people. And was affecting our driveway even though we have signs. I'm telling you there are some good policemen and women in this nation. 
And I'm very proud of them, Commissioner and, and, and Traffic Chief. And I'm proud of the work you do at school time. When children are coming out of school and going to school, when their traffic officers are on spots directing traffic, I'm very proud of the traffic department. When we have special events, Traffic Chief Mahinder Singh, very proud of your guys. And let me go on back. We had to deal with a sergeant at police headquarters whose name I will not disclose at this time, but I will if he continues with this. He, my advice to him is when we come in, he should pass the job on to somebody else. Pass the job on to somebody else because he failed to realize his job is only to measure, measure inches per seat. He was uncooperative, rude, and un, un, unwilling to listen according to the our transport manager. I would even say pompous. Unfortunately, Commissioner and Traffic Chief, we will always find some pompous people in every business that we have. Even us in the security, we will find some rude guards. He would not seem to understand the instructions of the GRA, which as stated above, was clarified by the brilliant traffic chief. Nevertheless, instructions were passed for the seats to be measured and letters to be prepared, with which we were to uplift and take into GRA. Before we could have uplifted, the letters, uh, uplifted the letters, someone in the traffic department forwarded them to the motor vehicle department, causing another bugbear and a, and a bureaucracy. We, we couldn't find the document. We couldn't get it regularized. But the, as the, the, the traffic chief moved reasonably quickly. All they had to do is wait for us to come collect it, but they thought, they think they were doing well by sending it across. No, hold it for us to come. It's a waste of our time, Commissioner General. It takes a, a lot of frustration to the customers. It is an, even a, a frustration to the police, which is unfair to them. But we will collect it. We have had many cases in the motor vehicle department where documents went missing. We do not know the status. It is tiring and annoying. Further, I believe it is unnecessary. Your inspecting officers, I'm here speaking to Mr. Statia, you know, were extremely competent. All that happens here is a bigger part of bureaucracy, a frustration that leads to the inconveniencing of our marketing, sales, and more so to the delay of our customers. It came to a point where customers would say, leave it with the one seat. But we know what frustration they would go through as this is like a lorry. They need worker staff. If they are grave, grave divers, they need two additional staff. If they are vendors, they need at least one staff. This is why the manipulators understood and put three, this is why the manufacturers understood and put three additional seats for workers along with the driver. But I know something else. They will have to put their workers and sooner or later the police will stop them. And sooner or later, they will have to do something else to some police who would inconvenience the economic status of the pockets of the owners and the drivers. You all should understand what I'm trying to say there. There are some in the Ghana police force who do these things and embarrass the great Ghana police force led by Mr. Hickman. In Ghana, our people seem to have a problem understanding this when we told our suppliers in China and India what we were going through, they laughed and said, we have inexperienced and unexposed people in our country. So the people in China and India, they, they, they're laughing at us because they say we are, um, they're of the opinion that we are inexposed. They use harsh words like backward and and uh, inexposed, and if they don't see uh, other countries like, like, like Taiwan and, and Vietnam and India and China. So uh, they were laughing at us. I'm sorry, man, but I feel bad when they tell us these things. With this in mind, I'm requesting that you, Honorable Commissioner General, who means well in all that you do, in future kindly invite all the stakeholders and also refer to the system of having faith in your inspecting officers. I'm a respecter of the GRA and the NIS, but sometimes I have some issues with them, and I will talk about it. 
but they are all important institutions in this country. The, the GRE is most important because we need to collect taxes for the development of our country and the growth of our country. And that is why, and also, the, the GRE canoe, they are a spectacular team being led by Director uh, James C. Very special, very supportive, I am, to every department of the GRE. But this part with the motor vehicles, you all are affecting our lives and the life of ordinary people. Meet with us and let us set a system if you want. And we can work with you. Otherwise, we've worked. Trust your people. Your people were doing a good job. Commissioner. General, Commissioner General, your friend, your brother, me, Haji, Dr. Roshan, Ibn, say thank you, Farah, and you will see a few more photographs of three-wheelers, especially the new ones, at the back of this presentation and in between.